Hey YouTube, it's your girl Razia J and I am back with another video. As promised, now that I'm back from my break, I do plan on providing you guys content on this journey to social work and things such as faith, family, and how it all intersects to become a beautiful story that is personal to me and as we all are living this life that is personal to you. Um, if you are new to my channel, I ask that you watch this video and if you enjoy the content, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, share with your tribe, and leave me some feedback down below. I love interacting with you guys. I love responding to your comments. And most importantly, don't be shy. If you need to reach out, you can find me on Instagram, Facebook, or you can email me. If you have been watching my videos, as always, I want to thank you for your support. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for taking the time out to share it with your friends. Thank you for leaving me feedback. Thank you for reaching out to me on YouTube or in my emails or in my DMs. Thank you so much for being consistently part of my tribe. You guys don't understand how much it makes me feel like I am doing something that is beneficial to others when I get feedback from you guys. So as promised, this video is all about my process to becoming a Fordham student. I felt like it would be really good to just document this journey from start to finish for you guys so that if there's any other upcoming Fordham MSW students that they can have like a little cheat to how the process is, what goes on behind the scenes, and how Fordham is as a university. Many of you know that I have been accepted to the advanced standing program at Fordham University. Go Rams! and I start September 2021. So I haven't even taken any classes, but this first video, I really think that it's important to share the process and how it went. So when I was considering what programs I wanted to go to, one of the very first things I did was go to the Fordham website and I went into the Graduate School of Social Service. I filled out the information that I wanted them to reach out to me and I got my very first email, I want to say in March, Yes, I got my, no, I got my very first email back in January. I was paired up with an admissions counselor. Her name was Jennifer and she was phenomenal. From the very beginning, she just had this way about it that she was reaching out. She was asking me questions. I felt like she was getting to know me. There was multiple times that I was on the phone with Jennifer and I would say to her at the end of the call, like, this was just a therapy session and I thank you for that. That was my first encounter with someone from Fordham University outside of the great things that I heard. I am part of a Facebook page called Black Girls in Social Work and a lot of people were saying that Fordham is a very good school. Um, so Jennifer was really the first person that I interacted with. Till this day if I email her she is very responsive. Within 48 hours she's responding back to me or giving me a phone call. And she walked me through the application process. So I want to say that I reached out in January when I was in my spring term at Salisbury and then I literally did the application. Everything was due by February 14th or 15th. February 15th. I got everything in. I needed one recommendation letter. I needed my personal statement which I read on YouTube and I'll link it in the cards I believe right here so you guys can check that out. And that personal statement was like 16 to 900 words I believe and it was double spaced um, APA format and it wasn't really that bad. One of the very first things I did for the application process was get all the things that I needed and if you guys want a detailed video about how I prepared to apply for this program I will also link that video in the cards right here so you guys can check it out. But Jennifer was very hands-on like she answered my calls even when I got accepted to other schools and I was like, I don't know what I'm going to do. Like, I don't know what to, how to make this decision. She was like very forthcoming, like, hey, just because I work at Fordham, I'm not going to tell you to go to go with Fordham. Assess the schools and find the school that works for you. So I applied February 15th. I heard back from Fordham March 2nd. I really thought it was going to be a longer wait. But to my surprise, they got back to me within like two weeks. I want to say two, three weeks. And... One of the things that stood out to me about Fordham was their acceptance letter. They literally, I'm going to insert it in here somewhere, they literally sent me a letter that had confetti falling on it. And I was like, wow. So the acceptance letter was really cute. It was really personal. 
And following the acceptance letter, I think two hours after I got the acceptance two hours after I got the acceptance letter, I got a phone call from Jennifer congratulating me. She was like, congratulations on your acceptance. You know, I was waiting to give you a few hours to read your, um, your letter of acceptance so I can personally congratulate you. And that really stood out to me that she took the time to personally congratulate me and tell me welcome to Fordham if that is what I so decided to do. Um, so that was about two weeks. After that, they gave me 30 days to make a decision and to de deny or accept the um, acceptance. And I accepted it. After that happened, I want to say like two weeks later or three weeks later, not a long time at all, I was paired with a success advisor who's kind of like a um, academic advisor, but basically her role in my life as my time if Fordham is beginning and throughout the entire time that I'm there is just to make sure that I am set up for success and she communicates very well her name is Sydney if I have a question she is on it if I don't understand something she will carve out time to do like a call with me to help me get to where I need to be even up to last week she sent me a reminder email that hey start to create your plans because Registration is coming up and we don't want you to not get the classes that you want in the order or the times that you want. So that was something else that was really, really good. I think the two people that I have encountered thus far has been amazing. No, 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 it's been three. So I've also been paired up with a field coordinator or a field liaison and her name is Jessica and she was really, really good. We had my meeting. I told her what I wanted she found me exactly what I wanted. And as you guys know, as a social work student, finding a good field placement is hard on its own. Add a pandemic, add life just going a million miles per hour, it's really hard to find a good one. When I was in Salisbury, I had so many friends who were in mediocre placements. They really weren't getting the experience that they needed and they were paper pushers. And I knew that I didn't want that for myself. My first field placement was amazing. So Fordham had to bring their A game. If you guys want tips on how to secure a field placement with your first interview, I'm gonna link that right here. Cause that video was a banger. Literally guys, I secured both of my internship placements after my first interview. I don't waste no time. So she got me into an amazing interview with an amazing, amazing um, organization and I got the internship and I'm super excited that come September, I'm going to be um, interning with the organization that speaks to what I want to do in the future and also cultivates some skills that I'm not too familiar with. So the agency that I'm going to be working with, I'm not going to share their name right now but they are giving me the opportunity one to do a lot of macro stuff but they're also giving me the opportunity to take on one or two clients and i really had decided that i was going to stay away from micro practice social work but as i have progressed in my program and as i have developed in my skills i definitely believe that there is a place for me in micro even if it's not my full-time gig so I'm super excited that this placement gives me that opportunity um, something else that really stood out to me about Fordham after I put on my Twitter that I was so excited about getting into the program at Fordham they instantly retweeted and then they messaged me and sent me their congratulations and I was like this is the environment that I want to be in this is an environment that isn't just about having words on a computer screen but they are literally living out the things that they write on their website. When you see Fordham says that they are all about success and making sure that they set you up for success, they are future minded and their thoughts is how can we cultivate the future social workers that are already prepared for what is to come. And they're all about that. Um, I'm at the point now that I am setting up my classes. So I do want to share with you guys the class choices that I have um, considered for this up and coming term. 
So one of the classes that I'm trying to take in session one, because that's where I'm at in the process, I am now at pre-registration, is advanced integrated practice, practice evaluation and research, and of course my field class. And then for session two, oh, that was session two, okay. So that was session two. For session one, it's all backwards. I'm taking my field class as well, and I wanna take community organizing and program evaluation. So guys, I'm really, really excited because Florida makes it very simple. They give you these domain areas and then you pick the classes that work for you. And I think that that is something that really stood out to me about Fordham's program was that it wasn't really regimented in the, in the, in the way that we are all going to take the same classes at some point in time. But if you know that there is a particular thing that stands out to you, Fordham gives you the flexibility to pick classes that is under that umbrella. So the domain areas that we have to take classes from, and we have to take one in each, is individuals, groups, and families, communities and organizations, policy, and research. And I was really excited because all the other programs that I applied to, their classes was like, you're taking this, 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 and this. And there was very few places that had the wiggle room to put these electives that worked for you. With Fordham, I was able to tailor my classes to what suits me. So when it comes to individuals, groups, and families, like I said, I really never really thought that I would be in the macro field of social work, but I was able to pick a class that was like advanced integrated practice with individuals and family. And the other class I'm thinking about taking is suicide assessment and treatment because these are skills that I will need as a social worker. Doesn't matter where I'm working, I need people skills. I need to know how to respond in a crisis situation, whether I'm on the clock or off the clock. And I like that it gave me the opportunity to do that. As I'm moving forward in this process, I just wanna share with anyone that is thinking about going to Fordham University, how this is a school that really puts the ball in your court. Their platform is super easy to use. They have something called 2-4, which is like our workspace, but we also have the opportunity to build social groups within the 2-4 platform where we can meet other people. And I'm already meeting amazing people just by reading their profiles and hearing what's their passions. And I know that if I take a class with this person that, hey, this is something that they're strong in. This is an area that if I have questions about it, I can reach out to this person and vice versa. And I really like that about Fordham because the classes just seem to really give you the flexibility and the options to do what works for you. Another thing that I wanna say that stood out about Fordham and if you're considering Fordham, go look at the faculty list. The people who are going to be teaching you, they mean business. Their credentials speak for them, the things that they have done, especially when it comes to research. If you are trying to be a social work researcher, I would highly suggest that you look at schools that have strong professors that have worked with other agencies to do research about whatever topic is important to you. Now that I'm preparing myself for September and I have already put my plan in place, I'm just waiting to hit that submit button and say these are my classes for the fall and wrap my mind around getting textbooks and stuff like that. Another thing that was really easy was their financial aid office. They were amazing. I was having some issues. IT reached out to me, they couldn't fix it. Then they had um, financial aid reach out to me and they were able to take care of me on the back end and I really like that about them. Of course, I would say that their program is a little bit on the pricey side. For my eight months program, I am paying $33,000 and that's before the cost of books or anything else. So you have to consider that as well. And if you are prepared to one, take student loans or two, pay out of pocket, whatever works for your family. Fordham has really been great. And I do think that anyone that is considering Fordham, meet with an 
admission advisor and just fill them out. See how they work with you, see how you vibe with them, and see if they really take the time to acknowledge you for who you are. I felt like I had the best admissions advisor hands down. Jennifer, if you ever see this video, know that 75% of the reason why I made the decision to come to Fordham and to apply was because of your encouragement and because of your realness. Like you were so real from the very beginning and I love that. As I said, Fordham was a great choice. If you're considering a master's in social work and you wanna do an online program and you're from New York or you're not from New York and you want to go to a really good school, I say go for it, apply to Fordham. If you have any questions about the application process and you need any more details, let me know. I will be happy to answer any questions that I could answer to help you along your journey. Until next time, peace, love, and Jesus.